This is Justin Weller, Director of Business Development at Blackpoint Cyber. He's been hey. in the IT industry for almost 10 years. Uh, after working for and then running MSPs, he joined the Datto team for three years, specializing in PSA and RMMs. He came aboard at uh, Blackpoint this past fall. He uses his background in both sales and tech to help communicate Blackpoint's message. But Justin, you're in for a dynamic and enthusiastic conversation. So Justin, <laughs> oh man, how how do I how do I even live up to that? It's funny you get to count how many people are behind uh, Matt. We'll count how many people are right behind me in Denver Airport. But uh, you know, cool. I just wanted to say first and foremost, thanks for having us on this on this call here. And and you know, uh, like you said, my name is Justin Weller. I am the director of business development over here at Blackpoint. And I like to kind of start off uh, one of our presentations here, really talking about kind of what Blackpoint's promise is. And you know, Blackpoint's promise is that we're going to help you win the unfair fight. But really, kind of how do we do that? You know, first thing we like to talk about kind of who we are, right? We're a cybersecurity innovator and we're a hacker disruptor. That's really who we are at our core. But what we do is we provide a cybersecurity ecosystem. It's, it's powered and, and headlined by our 24 seven managed detection and response technology. It's all proprietary. We built it in house ourselves. And the people that we serve are small to medium sized businesses, MSPs and enterprise level organizations. And we literally do it worldwide. We have uh, organizations all over the US, you know, uh, Australia, uh, APAC area, uh, uh, EMEA, all of those different areas. So uh, we definitely want to make sure that we can kind of service you across the globe and we're growing and expanding at that. To kind of talk about how we're expanding, I'd like to kind of touch base on, on the team and kind of who we are, right? We're, we're founded by John Murchison. He's our founder and CEO spent 12 years in the NSA, but what made him different is that he actually spent 12 years doing on the offensive side. About 95% of the NSA is reactive. John was part of the proactive team. And really what it boiled down to when he got out of the NSA, he thought to himself, man, I've been able to kind of evade all these different technology solutions for 12 years. Well, what if I wanted to build something that would have stopped me? And that's how Blackpoint got started. We've recently brought on Garth, uh, Garth Luke from Microsoft as our CRO. Mike Yang comes from uh, Juniper and Cisco. Javier Salinas, our CT from Tenable, but we also have an elite security team as well as an elite engineering team. And we've most recently been partnered up with Excel and Bain Capital for a massive infusion of funds over the last couple of months. So we're looking to really kind of skyrocket and build out significantly more of our product. But really, here's the problem that we solve, right? When we talk about things from a compliance standpoint or from a, a framework standpoint, the problem is this, right? If you're going into battle with threat actors and you don't really have a plan when it comes to security, it becomes very, very difficult to manage um, the win, so to speak, right? We don't really have an understanding of what's happening. And this is really where we as an organization kind of change uh, uh, the game a little bit. The problem is this, what do you find? Where do you, where do you have the difficulty in, in finding the correct framework to go after, right? Is it NIST, is it CNMC, is which version do you go after, is it CIS, whatever the case may be. And really what we've done is we've kind of found a way to kind of make this agnostic five pillars of true security. This is gonna be something that if you can standardize on, it'll really cover about 75 to 80% of your defense in depth methodology. And that way you can focus on other things. The first pillar here is what we call asset visibility. This is really basically saying, listen, if I don't know what it is to protect, I can't protect it. So this is gonna be the area of things like RMMs, that kind of stuff, where we have the ability to kind of capture that information. The second piece of the house is what we call network hardening. Think about this as kind of reducing the attack surface as much as you humanly possibly can. So I apologize, we got uh, apparently everybody decided to come right now. But uh, with that being said, this is where we wanna be able to think of things like multi-factor authentication, principle of least privilege, that kind of stuff. Now on the threat detection side and the real-time response side, this is where you're gonna see an organization like Blackpoint Cyber come into place. Now, what it really boils down to is this, when it comes to threat detection, there are two sides of the battle that you've gotta be able to fight at this point in time. The first side of the battle is one thing that we've already heard of, and that's the malware side, right? This is gonna be the area of your EDRs um, and kind of software fighting software, so to speak. The other side of the house is what we call live off the land tradecraft. This is gonna be stuff that it's not gonna look inherently malicious to these EDR solutions that are out there. It's gonna be stuff that's designed by threat actors to be able to obfuscate themselves from those software solutions. So that way we've got the ability to kind of say, hey, you know what, I'm, not, I'm gonna hide from there. We're gonna be able to kind of get around because it looks like legitimate admin activity. And this is really where we live. This is where we take a look at that. And then this is where we come into the next pillar here, which is real-time response. And then obviously our goal is to never get you to this last pillar here, which is the incident recovery side. This is where you're going to want to take a look at things like having the ability to have good insurance, DFIR, right? Those kinds of things, BCDR type appliances. That way it kind of lives, helps you live to fight another day. Now, 
This is where the hacker timeline typically goes, right? First thing they want to plan, then they go ahead and have the intrusion, then they do the enumeration. We try to identify kind of well, right, where I'm at, what can I do, what can I have? They try to spread to kind of uh, spread the infection and then go ahead and complete their objective, whatever that is, whether it's ransomware, whether it's um, uh, uh, data exfiltration or a combination of the both. But this is really where our managed detection and response is going to live. Now, when we say managed detection and response, there's a lot of organizations that claim that, but really how you define find those three letters really separates you from the rest of the crowd. When we come to manage, Blackpoint is a fully managed solution. Our goal here is to have you out of our portal as little, or in our portal as little as humanly possible. And we wanna be able to do that through the detection method, which is the second letter here. When it comes to detection, we use our proprietary software to detect and identify the tradecraft. So as the attack is unfolding, we wanna make sure that we can go ahead and stop it from that eagle eye view, kind of that orchestrated approach. But then the response portion, a lot of people like to say that there's a response by throwing a, lev uh, by throwing a little bit uh, of an alert out and saying, hey, something happened at two in the morning, I hope that you're okay. And when you get to it at seven o'clock, it works. Well, when we take about a response, we wanna say, hey, listen, we identified there's a fire inside of your house. We went ahead and put the fire out. We isolated the device to stop the spread of the fire. We're gonna call you and make sure that you're aware that there was a fire and we're gonna give you the information that we found as well as some cleanup steps. And if you have some questions and you look for some help, well, go ahead and give us a call. We're happy to help you. But this is where our SOC as a service platform was built. We actually have a product, which is a security solution here, handled, headlined by managed detection and response for Windows and Mac devices. We also have cloud response, which is gonna be M365 protection. Think of MDR for M365. Managed application control, where we have the ability to kind of block applications from running. Vulnerability management and managed EDR, where we will actually ingest the metadata and alerts from your EDR solution and remove the burden for you to be able to make sure that you have trained security professionals taking a look at your EDR alerts with a lot of different integrations. On the other side of the house, we also have Blackpoint Risk, which is a wholesale insurance product tied to our managed detection and response, as well as our logging and compliance product called Logic. But what's nice is we've actually built this out into a response bundle. So everything that you see on the top portion here, MDR, cloud response, application control, vulnerability management, managed EDR, and our adversary pursuit group, that comes in one bundled price for you. And you can feel free to ping us and we can talk to you a little bit more about that. But it separates us from the disjoint legacy solutions where they have the SIM approach, monitoring M365, all these different disjointed SACs where we have the ability to have everything come into one portal and have it orchestrated so we can see while it's going on. Now, I hope I didn't talk too slow for everybody. I've never been accused of that, but I want to say thank you so much for everybody's time. Really appreciate it. If you have more questions, feel free to email us at msp at blackpointcyber.com. We'll also be in the breakout afterwards. Thanks, everybody. Hope you're having a great day.